Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will see one more numerical. Okay, where you have to find the even and odd components of the following signal, and this time the signal is given in the sequence representation. Okay, so this is what x of n, which is basically minus three, one, two, minus four, and two. Okay, so this arrow indicates n is equal to zero term. Hope you are aware about this, right? And this is what n is equal to one. This it this value is at n is equal to two. This value is at n is equal to minus one, and this is at n is equal to minus two. Okay, and what you have to find out, you have to find out the even and odd component of this x of n. So first, you have to find out what. So x of n is given, so you have to find out x of minus n. Okay, x of minus n. So tell me one thing. This position will be fixed if you do x of minus n also folding of this signal also. This position will be fixed, right? So two, right? Same as it is. Now n is equal to zero. Okay. So what you will get at minus one? N is equal to minus one. So in original signal, n is equal to minus one gives you one, but this time n is equal to minus one will give you this minus four. Minus four, n is equal to minus two will give you this two because we are folding a signal. Okay, n is equal to plus one will give you what? Whatever the value you got at minus one in the case of x of n, so one. So here you will get one, and then you will get minus three. Okay, so x of minus n becomes this. Hope it is clear to you. Simply, uh, you have to do what a fold of this signal or a transpose. So you start writing in this way. See, simple. So x of minus n, we got to know this is x of minus n. X of n, we know. Now let's jump and calculate the even part and odd part. Okay, so even part. So how can we calculate the even part? It is equal to one by two into x of n plus x of minus n, right? So one by two. Okay. Now go sample by sample. Check at every instant. So see first minus three plus two. Okay. So minus three plus two. Next, check at n is equal to minus one. So one plus minus four means one minus four. So one minus four at n is equal to zero. So two plus two. So two plus two. Okay, at n is equal to one. So minus four plus one. Minus four plus one. Next, it will be two minus three. Fine. Clear this much? Now solve it. So one by two. This becomes what? Minus three plus two is what? Minus one. One minus four minus three. Two plus two four. Minus one plus one. Uh, sorry, minus four plus one is what? Minus three. And last minus one we got. Now from here we got to know that okay, even part is equal to what? 0.5 minus of 0.5 okay then minus 1.5 then 2 at which instant n is equal to 0 this is what n is equal to 0 now next minus 3 divided by 2 that is what minus 1.5 and minus 1 divided by 2 minus 0.5 so this is what you calculated the even part hope it is clear to you because sometimes questions comes where they will give you the sequence representation so you should know this approach how to solve if they have given you the sequence representation of any signal fine so even part we have calculated now jump for the odd part so odd part okay odd part What is the formula for this? One by two. 
x of n minus x of minus n. Now same, same approach go simple by simple basis. So, 1 by 2. So, check at n is equal to minus 2 first. So, I am writing directly. So, minus 3 minus 2. Okay, then see here, then 1 minus of minus 4. So, 1 plus 4, it becomes what? 1 plus 4, 1 plus 4. Next, see here, next, 2 minus 2, right? So, right here like 2 minus 2. Next, it will become minus 4 minus 1, then 2 plus 3. Okay, fine. Let us go to the next. Now, 1 by 2, it becomes what? Minus 5. It becomes what? 5. It becomes 0. This is what? Minus 5 and again 5. Now, from here, we got to know, okay, this particular value, odd part is equal to what? Minus 2.5, comma 2.5 and 0 at n is equal to 0 then minus 2.5 and then 2.5. So, this is what we calculated the odd part. I hope this much is clear to you. So, that is all about how to calculate the even and odd components of a signal if the signal is represented in a sequence way. Okay. Fine. So, thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you have any doubt, please ask in the comment section. Thank you.